All right, gang, we are working on worksheet 3.1, identifying pairs of lines and angles. We're on page two. These first questions um, are asking us to think about each segment in the diagram as part of a line. Complete the statement with parallel, skew, and perpendicular. Let's first quick give a rundown of these, um, these definitions. Remember parallel are two lines that never touch. They have to be in the same plane and they have to go the same direction. If we're talking about skew lines, those are two lines that also never touch. but they are in different planes and they go different directions. And when we talk about perpendicular lines, those are lines that make a 90 degree angle when they intersect. So when we're doing problems like this where we have um, a box I think the best thing to show your work is to actually draw these lines on the picture and then we can look for these things. We can look for the 90 degree angle between them. We can see if they touch and then we can see if they go the same direction or if they go different directions. So the first question that we're going to do is WZ. So we look and that goes across the front and ZR and ZR is right here. And when we look at those two lines, we can definitely see that they intersect right here. And so then the question is really, does it look like they intersect at 90 degrees? And the answer to that would be yes. So we answer perpendicular. And then if we looked at um, 17, we can look at those lines and they ask about WZ, which again is across the front, and ST, which is down here on the bottom. And when we look at those two lines, we ask ourselves, do they intersect? No, one is on the top, one is on the bottom. And so since they never intersect, we have to ask ourselves, do they go different directions or do they go the same direction? And because they both go left and right, that would be considered the same direction. That makes those lines parallel. I want you to finish the rest of those. And then uh, we will jump down and look at questions 21, 22, and 23, where we draw the different angles that they ask about. All right, in these three questions, they ask us to draw the following angle pairs and identify which angles are named. So for question 21, they want us to draw alternate interior angles and they want us to label them angle one and angle two. So when we draw our lines, we have to have a transversal. The transversal is the line that cuts the two of them. And now we want alternate interior angles. They have to be on different sides of that squiggly transversal line and they have to be interior. That means they have to be between the lines. So they're going to be in the interior part and we're going to label them angle one and angle two. So if I put angle one up here, that would mean angle two would have to be on the bottom part. One is on the left and two is on the right, alternate interior. The next angles, again, we have our transversal line we have to draw consecutive interior angles and we're gonna call these angles three and four. So again, they have to be in the interior part of the line, but they have to be consecutive. That means that they have to both be on the same side of the line. We can draw them both on the left. Oops. We can draw them both on the left side, or we can draw them both on the right side. 
here and here. Doesn't matter. I'm going to draw them both on the right. Let's go angle three and angle four. They're both interior and on the right hand side. The next question says that we have to do alternate exterior angles. So again, we're going to draw our two lines and we're going to cut it with our transversal. And now the angles have to be exterior. So I'm going to shade interior, but that's where my angles will not be. They have to be alternate and exterior. Alternate means one has to be on the left and one has to be on the right, or it can be on the left here and the right here. So when I draw my alternate exteriors, if I put a five up here, then I have to put the six on the right hand side. One is on the left on the outside and one is on the right on the outside. Alternate exterior. Oh, so again, now I want you to pause again and um, try these next couple and I will help you if you get stuck. All right, so let's unpause. Let's work through these questions. They ask us to classify the angle pair as corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, or consecutive interior angles. So when we do these questions, you maybe want to shade. So I'm going to do question number 24. And they asked me to look at angles 1 and 9. So I'm going to find angle 1. And then I'm going to find angle 9. And then for this question, I would take and cover up this side over here. And I'm just going to scribble that out for now. You would cover that with your hand. And when you look at those two angles, you have to ask yourself, are they interior? Are they exterior? Are they both? Are they on the same side or are they on different sides? And when I notice... I see that I have one interior angle and one exterior angle. They're both on the left. That makes those angles corresponding. Remember, corresponding angles are the angles that make the letter F. When I trace them, those are corresponding angles. All right, let me erase what I have here. And let's look at the next question. They want me to do angle 8 and angle 13. So again, I highlight angle 8 and I hang highlight angle 13. And I would cover up with my hand, or I'm just going to scribble it out. Looking at those two angles, 8 and 13, are they between the lines? Are they on the left side of the transversal? Or are they on the right side of the transversal? And when I look at those two, I notice that they are both between the lines and they are both on the left. That makes those two angles consecutive interior angles. And those are the angles, remember, that make the C or the U. And when I trace those, those are the angles that I get. All right. I'm going to have you pause again, work through the rest of those, and uh, I can uh, help you on 29 and 30 if you get stuck there. All right. Let's unpause. And when we're looking at 29 and 30, they ask us, to use the markings in the diagram to answer the following. So before we get started, we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look at all of the markings that we have in the diagram. The one thing I notice is I see a couple arrows right there. That means those two lines are parallel. I also see the 90 degree box right there. That means that I have some perpendicular lines. And now I'm going to figure out what they're talking about. So the first question asks us to identify, um, name a pair of parallel lines. So again, that's these two yellow marks. So I'm going to name these two lines right here. Think about what we learned in chapter one. To name lines, you need two points 
and then you put your arrow above it. So I'm going to pick any two points on this line right here, and I can put them in any order that I want. I'm just going to go with OT, and then I put my arrow mark above it, and then I put, I choose any two points on the next line, and I'm going to just choose P and M, and I put my arrow above it. You could flip those around if you want, and then we put the parallel mark in between. So now we have said that OT is parallel to PM. The next question asks us to name a pair of perpendicular lines. And again, we said that this box right here means that they're perpendicular. So when I look at those lines, my perpendicular lines are is the one that goes across and then the one that goes straight down. So notice that we have this line over here. That's not part of our perpendicular. Our perpendicular lines are going to be the, um, the points that we're going to choose are going to be the V and the N. And then we're going to choose two points on this line, which I think are T and R. So we're going to say V, N, and T, R. And then to show that they're perpendicular, we're going to put that upside down T in there. And that means that VN is perpendicular to TR. Now what I want you to do is pause your video, take a check, uh, take a look at 31 and 32. If you get stuck, we can talk in class tomorrow. Uh, good luck.